Hi, this is Monty's girlfriend, Inubis Humanus. He's asked me to say a couple of words before we start, so thanks to everyone who's watched me play the opening of these games and for all the lovely, lovely comments. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as we have enjoyed making them. That's all. On with the video. Okay, babe. <laughs> what is that? That's a big crab. Okay. <laughs> That's not too much. I love Elden Ring. I didn't think I would, you know. I saw the grassy plains in the trailer and the threat of Breath of the Wild comparisons, and a small part of me worried that everything I love about From Software's games would be diluted by classic open world glop. Well, just call me a walking mausoleum because now I feel like a massive bellend. When I finally rolled credits, I didn't regret for a second buying a one-way ticket to the hype train, and when my girlfriend asked me if it had been worth the wait, I replied with nine simple words. I can't wait to make you play this one. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna die! Oh no, we didn't! Stop it! I didn't mean it! Okay, let's go back up here, I guess. It's the emphasis on options which elevates Elden Ring for me. Previous titles have often had branching paths for the player to experiment in, but each game has always had a clear, intentioned route for the player to follow. Elden Ring changes that formula. Yes, the intentioned path is there, but there are numerous ways to work through the lands between. Your playthrough is likely going to look and feel different from my playthrough, and my first few hours were definitely different from my girlfriend's. Well, oh, let's go our way, John, shall we? See what there is. When trying out the previous games, she's often remarked how much she enjoys having options given to her. In Sekiro, it was the option to use the grappling hook to swing past mini-bosses. In Dark Souls 2, it was the option to explore Hyde's Tower of Flame, or switch it up and go to the Forest of Fallen Giants. In Demon Souls, she loved getting to test the water with each of the five worlds before deciding which one she wanted to tackle first. Oh wait, it goes this way too? Oh no! To round off our time throwing her at this series of games, it only felt natural that we put Elden Ring to the test, to see if its emphasis on options was something that she liked. So, let's force a noob, a non-gamer, namely my girlfriend, to sit down and try to conquer its first few hours. You know the rules by now, but for first time viewers, they're pretty simple. Number one, I wouldn't play any of the game for her, she was on her own. Number two, in the spirit of options, she had to defeat any three bosses. And number three, I wouldn't be a backseat gamer. All of this to answer one question. Nubis Humanus 7. Can my girlfriend make it through the first few hours of Elden Ring? Let's find out. No, not today, Knights. Not today. Ooh, we're going straight in. Uh, there's no like stats or anything, it's just based on looks. Oh, show stats, I see. I get it, right, okay, go, go back. Oh, numbers. Oh, it's numbers. With her experience of melee builds behind her, the Nubis decided to stick to what she knew. She was aware that Elden Ring was an open world game and there would likely be new systems to learn about, so she was keen to start with something familiar. The concept of dual wielding in these games was particularly new to her, but with the pain of Dark Souls 2 in her mind's eye, she liked the idea of having a backup sword in case the first one broke. Oh, voices! <sighs> She chose the Crimson Amber Medallion because the HP boost it offered, and we were straight into her favourite part of the games, the character creator. Alright, Princess Leia. That one, that's, that's cute, one. right? What about like a teal? Yeah. Right, possession? Oh god, no. Oh god. See, it's like she's went to the rave. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still not happy with her nose, though. So. Can you make them as big as possible? No. I want to see what happens. <laughs> she didn't stress about her body nearly as much as she had in the past, noting that a slim build didn't actually have any bearing on how easy she was to hit. The irony was that after 30 full minutes of tweaking dials and sliders, her glamorous e-girl got covered up by the warrior shawl. <laughs> covered up all my pie! The fallen leaves tell a story. You should have had George R. R. Martin like voice over it. The star. The fallen leaves tell a story. 
This opening cutscene is perplexing to me. Elden Ring's static art is gorgeous, and I love how the narrator slowly descends into a rage the more he monologues. Usually our narrators are crusty and monotone, but From Software released this badass, fully animated story trailer on the day of the game's release, so it's odd that they didn't include it in the game. As always, the Nubis absorbed none of it though. As the history of the lands between washed over her and she took control of her hero, she got distracted, and it wouldn't be the last time. That's not- Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Listen to that sheer joy! It didn't last long. The few minutes between entering the game world and meeting our first boss are barren and linear. It's about tone setting rather than tutorialization. A deep fog is set so that you can't see the full reach of the overworld, and so that the Erd Tree stands out as a clear signpost for the future. Yeah. Oh. Pray. And short seek, right? 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 Not that right, okay. Right, where's the baddies? I don't like that it's quiet. Where's all the baddies? But of course, there is a lesson to learn if this is your first souls like. Dying is okay. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Guys. Is that gonna come alive? That statue? Or is it the door? Might be the door. I gotta die first, right? Before like anything happens. <laughs> every time! Every time! Oh my god, oh my god, what's rolling? What's rolling? No, roll! 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 <laughs> And the conditioning doesn't stop there. You are bashed over the head time and time again with its most important lesson, explore. And to my delight, the Nubis picked up on this immediately. What's that? I want it. <laughs> oh, is that the, um, tutorial? What makes you say that? Cause it was like, um, you know, um, remember war and stuff. Remember war and stuff. At the risk of sounding like an arsehole, but who am I kidding, I don't care. The complaints that Elden Ring's optional tutorial are bad game design just show how unengaged most players have become due to the handholdy nature of other tutorials. And for me, this is the proof. The Nubis saw a shiny object and started thinking about ways to reach it. She saw the shining message in front of her and read that the cave of knowledge lies below. She saw the clear, ethereal, glowing dead guy in the chair right ahead of her and went to investigate. Speaking to that dead guy tells you to drop down this hole to, well, remember war and stuff. And she did exactly what was expected of her. She dropped down and her tutorial began. Fingers. Fingers butthole. <laughs> now I'm not saying that she solved the tutorial discourse TM, but... And what happened next is pretty self-explanatory, so here you go. Sight of grace. Right, cool. So that's my bonfire. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I will not be calling it sight of grace. I will be like, bonfire. <laughs> Where is the bonfire? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna get him. Did I get him? Time for jumping, yay! Oh my god, look at that jump. Look at that jump, it's so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> Iron dash. Dash, dash, dash. That's a roll. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Stop it! Oh, I'm actually dizzy from watching it. <laughs> Stealth. In the bushes I go. Stealth. Stealth. No, 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 I'm coming. It was hard not to recall Sekiro watching her read all of the tutorial screens which popped up. In that game, their positioning had annoyed her, typically appearing just seconds before she was attacked. Elden Ring makes a point of bringing them up when you're relatively safe, and I think that led to her taking her time and reading through each one. Alright, no, I know what dungeon is, thank you. Well, most of them. And before long, it was time for the Soldier of Godric. Oh. Can we heal? Thank you.
I thought that was going to be a lot harder than what it was. Is that right? So, what? We're not counting that one. Aww. Now you might think that was a little mean of me, but come on, the soldier of Godric's just there to teach you about the guard counter. He's a regular enemy with a big red bar to make you rely on the strategy the game just taught you. There are bigger, badder, better bosses out there that we all wanted her to fight instead. And she was just getting started. Uh, remove. Oh, she's not as pretty as what she was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and now we're out in the world. Oh no. That first look at Limgrave is sensory overload for someone who hasn't played open world games, but there are enough landmarks to immediately catch your eye. The sight of Grace looks shiny and welcoming with white-faced Vary beckoning you for a quick chat. Castle Stormvale lies in the distance, daring you to approach. The Tree Sentinel is patrolling below, his shiny golden armour making him stand out from the greenery and, of course, there's the Erd Tree in the distance, so ostentatious it practically screams big fat goal at you. The Nubis didn't go near any of them. Where to go? Where to go? What to see? Don't know. Let's go on an adventure! You nice birds? Oh, nice birds. Oh, can I... <laughs> nice birds, hello. Oh yeah, gonna fly into that tree. <gasps> what are these things? Hello? Oh! Oh, they're like little kangaroos, but also like beavers. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. You've taken that quite well. This guy's just basically come up and gone, no bitches, and you're like, oh, okay. So you ain't got no bitches? Um, I don't have no bitches. No maidens? <laughs> I don't have any maidens. <laughs> Honestly, she was guided less by landmarks and signposting during her time in the open world, and more by the animals she'd come across. I don't think she even expected them to lead anywhere, she just wanted to become friends with them, especially the sheep. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> We're me best friends. Best friends! <laughs> Hi! Are you lost? Hello. Yes, I'm not running into him. Who? The, the guy on the horse, the big gold guy on the horse. Oh, him. Okay. Stealth. Oh my god. Hello. Why is it Santa? Oh, hello. Oh, you've had such a hard life. We try to write it. to write it, yeah. Dog. Yes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dog. If I could pet you, I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. No. <laughs> bad. Bad hog. No! Stop coming after me. No. No. Bad hog. Stop it. <gasps> Why did I fly? I think I'd kill the first goal. Oh, my God. I just wanted to scare it away. Oh, no. She wandered quite aimlessly, just feeling the flow, cutting down any guards in her wake, and eventually spotted a landmark she was actively interested in. Is that a thing up there? I don't know, is it? I don't know, let's go see. Elden Ring hides a lot of its secrets. Hell, there are secrets inside its secrets, but these dungeon landmarks are regularly positioned without any paraphernalia near them, so you can see the statues silhouetted against the sky. Interacting with them leads you to some catacombs, which meant that after just 10 minutes of running around, she stumbled into her first dungeon, Stormfoot Catacombs. Great, oh, catacombs. Not where I thought I'd be going, but you know what, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's fire. <laughs> oh, no! I was so close! I was so close! 
So we were done with Stormfruit Catacombs and back into Limgrave's open fields for about a minute. Like a puppy surrounded by toys, the density of Elden Ring's open world quickly distracted her. Elden Ring saturates the colour of its torches to make them stick out in the environment. She spotted one, followed it into a cave, and that cave led to something very interesting. Is it supposed to be this dark? Hello. Oh no! Jesus! My Christ! Oh God! Okay. Well, here nope. he comes. Oh no, no, he doesn't. Here. Oh, here he comes. No. <laughs> okay, let's run away. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run, run faster! <laughs> what is this wolf man? What is it? The beast man of Pharaoh Mazula was the first boss I defeated in Elden Ring. In the moment, he feels a lot faster than he is, with those big sweeping attacks and chained together moves, but his telegraphing is pretty simple if you're able to overcome your panic. Hit him! Hit him! And despite the fact she had the option to leave him and explore elsewhere at any time, the Nubis firmly planted her flag on this hill and decided to die on it, so enjoy. Oh, I need to block! What does that do? Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. No! I just got to it! It's not going well. Not going well. Oh, it's a stick! It's a stick! It's a bonfire! No, oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Ooh, didn't like that. Where am I going? Don't know! Where is he? Don't know! Oh, god damn it. Stop it! Stop with your wheels, women! <laughs> Done. Yes, that was quite good. Mm. I'm not good about that. That was a really good one. One down. What's that? What's a castle? Is the tree inside the castle? High off of her first major victory, the hunt officially began. The Nubis decided to follow the Ur tree, reasoning there must be something good at the base of it, so she finally came to the gates of Stormvale Castle. Activating the Site of Grace nearby, she was visited by Melina, come to offer her an accord. Oh, I get a cutscene. <gasps> it's my woman's hair. Hello. Do you like my luscious hair? She had been so excited by the openness of the world that she hadn't even noticed that she'd previously been unable to level up. Noting that her two scimitars didn't eat away at her stamina too much, she opted to focus on upping her health instead. Good choice. And now that she had Torrent, Stormvale Castle was no longer the priority. I can double jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you look so handsome! Oh my god, you're so handsome! Can I hit on a horse? Oh, yeah. Oh no! Ah, uh, lay up! Oh, he's, he's a big guy! Yeah, no. Exploring the ruins near the castle gate, I noted how much her combat style had developed in the 18 months since I pushed her into Dark Souls 1. She may have started Elden Ring hiding behind her shield, but the curved swords of the imps back in Stormfruit Catacombs had made her completely rethink that strategy, so she quickly evolved into a dual-wielding badass. You, my friend, have to die. Hardly up. Most fights would have the same process. Lock on, jump attack, in with the spinning slash, and it carried her pretty far. Adding skills. Go! No, you didn't see me! You didn't see me. Not here! Not here, I'm just a goat! Watch me roll away. Roll away like a goat. I'm a goat. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards, my steed! Oh no, where? Where, where did you go? You can probably hear it because of how we set up the mic, but despite dipping her toe in seven of these games, the Nubis hadn't grown more comfortable with the controller. Every button push, every twitch of the analog stick was so stiff that whenever she'd summon Torrent, she'd almost immediately click down on L3, sending him away. Stop 
Who's talking? Should I, should I see who's talking to me? I, I'm not that ugly, am I? Does it all look a bit weird? And it's like moving. <gasps> I hope you can forgive me. Oh, bless him. We don't have to give me anything. I just dropped on you. <laughs> Ooh, it's a tunnel. Yay. Usually, I find these videos so easy to structure because she's funneled into one level that she's fighting her way around, but for this one, it's been downright impossible. The more she explored, the more a lack of commitment reared its head. Now, don't get me wrong, it was a real joy to watch her play like this. Clearly, the conditioning from the opening had worked. She was more curious than ever, so she'd regularly pull up the map and decipher its illustrations to find something that looked interesting. She was in Limgrave Tunnel for a total of 62 seconds. She walked in, got killed by this saggy sack, and immediately pieced out to pastures new. Which is a shame, because this place is brimming with smithing stones to upgrade your weapons, but hey, you live and learn. Onwards, we're going on an adventure! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What is that? Oh my god, is that a dragon? Oh my god, that's a dragon. Oh my god, just keep going, keep going, keep going, don't even look back. Oh, I see it. Oh, look at it. Oh, and it's big crap. Oh, this is it. Okay. What is this place? What's all the thing? Oh, hello. Oh, I don't like how it's moving. <laughs> well. Oh no, I can't, I can't do the thing. Oh no, go away. <laughs> Time and time again, her love of jumping was her downfall. Gone were the days of rolling into enemies' attacks. Instead, she'd just hop about blindly, hoping any big swords would miss her. The worst part is jumping has iframes. Right at the start of a jump, you're granted a few blessed microseconds of peace, but it's not nearly as effective as rolling, and you need to be really precious with your timing. So, these are all the things that I've done. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's stuff up here, right? But since I'm down here, I want to see where this is. Fortunately, the only thing that was really bruised was her ego, so she journeyed on like Frodo Baggins, curious about what lay to the south. Oh, no! No, 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 See what I mean about the jumping? Can't unsee it now, can you? She even started to think critically about how ashes of war worked through surfaces. Her previous enemy, Walls, suddenly became a bit of an asset when she realized her spinning slash could cut through barricades. Oh, he's still going. Oh, no! Can you get me? <gasps> All the evidence you need of how she's grown as a player lies in what happens next. Getting reset at her Limgrave bonfire, she decided to take on the dragon for a giggle. Her previous, well-earned fears about fire-breathing lizards were cast aside now that she could see one just a few feet in front of her. And with zero ruins and nothing left to lose, she decided to give it a bash. With her first big exploration complete, it was time to reset and recalibrate. She hopped back to the Church of Ella, and a friendly face was waiting for us with a game-changing gift. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Yes, she says, not knowing what it is. <laughs> oh, and the wolves! I can call the wolves. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but that's exactly how excited I was when I got the summoning spell. Empowered by her new power-up, the Nubis decided to have a wee nosy through Stormgate to see what lay on the cliffs above. I hear... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good sir. Hello, good sirs. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! 
No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Stop it! <laughs> Yeah. No, you don't need. Okay. He can double jump. Oh no, I see it. I I see. <laughs> I see where I was supposed to go. <laughs> okay, get off, off, off. Okay. Can I go around this way? <laughs> yes, is the answer to that. Perfect. I say, of course. Great. That means something bad's coming. And she was right. Anybody who's played the game knows what's waiting just up that path. Despite just finding a site of grace, the Nubis didn't rest at it, meaning her health and flasks were not reset for the upcoming boss. She spotted the summon sign of Sorcerer Rogier and composed herself for Margit the Fell. It's me! I know, fuck. I have no healing items <laughs> anymore. She got him to half health, not bad. If you explore well enough, Margit isn't a barrier to anything except the rest of Stormvale Castle, but for a lot of players, he'll be the first story-based boss they come up against. I've seen some exhausting takes that his difficulty curve is too much for the early game, but he's the final reinforcement of Elden Ring's greatest lesson. Just like the grafted scion walloping you at the start, just like the tree sentinel, just like the ever-loving giant that chases you 50 feet from his boss gate, the point here, the point which makes Elden Ring so much more welcoming than other Souls games is that if you're struggling with Margit, you can leave at any time. But the Nubis refused. I want to. I want to give him one more girl. Why crouching? God damn it! Stop getting in the way. Where is it? Oh, she just me and one wolf that's gonna die instantly. <laughs> Can I get me an all of you? Yeah, of course. Oh, God damn it, please. <sighs> Look at that, though. Three attempts, and she got him down to third health. She decided to leave Margaret alone and venture back into the world to see all the scenes she could see. Starships were meant to fly. Ha oh God! Noticing there was a big beach she hadn't explored yet, the Nubis sauntered down to catch some rays. But instead, she caught an invisible scarab on her first swipe. Along the beach, she stumbled across her first cave, and inside, a familiar face. Oh, hello! You'll end up just like me. Let me vanquish them for you. With the looming darkness ahead and no torch, she used her wits and equipped her shield again. So, to kick off part four, here's a montage. Up, up, but 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 up. Yep, but summon him. He's my friend. Why is it two of them? I don't know what to hit. Oh my god. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's get away, get away, get away! 
want to go. Her curiosity was rewarded with a secret path to the Church of Dragon Communion, but before she could investigate, her momentary rest at a site of grace was interrupted by Melina. I haven't been able to find a hard and fast rule on when Melina invites you to the round table hold. For me, it was the first time Margaret kicked my ass. For a friend, it was barely 20 minutes after receiving Torrent at a grace site in Kaled. Usually, I'd think this is cause for complaint. There's a lot of really useful NPCs at the hold, and I've mentioned before how much I love it when we're given our hobbit nice and early. I still do, but Elden Ring gets a pass here because of how open it is, how it adds gravitas to the mystery of the hold, and the fact that the Church of Ella has a useful merchant and already lets you upgrade your weapons. Ooh. Mm. Ah, fun. Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Get it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost sexual. Is she gonna like take my <laughs> all my strength? Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> How? Do I need to go up on this thing? I can't get it. For fans of the game, I'm curious, how long were you stuck at this site of grace before realising you needed to be by the table to interact with it? Call me an idiot, but I killed Star Scourge Radan before I figured it out. After levelling up and figuring out how to use a golden seed, the Nubis decided to have one final look around before continuing her adventure. In fact, she decided to see why there were so many bloodstains in this hallway, and she wasn't disappointed. Oh, I've been invaded! Oh no. Who's giving you a wee bow? <laughs> nope, not disappointed, just annoyed. And returning to Limgrave, she tried to find comfort in one of the goats. Hi! Uh... Oh! Feeling stronger than ever though, she decided to head back to her starting point and see what that big scary gold guy on the horse was all about. Should I give this guy a go? Sure. <laughs> no. Oh, I can summon my dogs. Wait. I can summon my dogs. Stop trying to hurt me. I can summon my dogs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I've just realized I'm off my horse. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! <laughs> I don't think I could be too sensible just now. <laughs> Honestly. And the next half hour of footage that I have is just... chaos. So, here's another montage. Okay. Let's not do him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have, like, no souls. Alright! Oh, yeah, the fire! Oh, this is the god, man. You're fine! Get up! Oh my god! 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 <laughs> right, let's go. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Where I'm going. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yay. Go away. No. Oh my God. Okay. No small. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god. Oh my god! <sighs> Through sheer inquisitiveness, she strayed so far from the beaten path of Limgrave, straight into uncharted territory, and she seemed to be having an incredible amount of fun. I don't mean the usual reluctant ferociousness we've seen in other games either. Her curiosity was consistently being rewarded, and the sheer unknowability of Elden Ring's world is what carries that forwards. No map markers unless you put them down yourself. Environmental storytelling through stuff as simple as enemy placements. The fact the game actively tries to hide its most interesting bits engineers the player to start dismantling the world design, rather than let it be fed to them on a silver platter. The fact the terrain is so uneven that sometimes Torrent's double jump isn't even enough to carry you where you want to go. It means you have to conquer this landscape, not just stroll through it. You are earning your progression. Elden Ring takes the core philosophy behind Souls Combat and applies it to open world exploration. Every player discovery feels earned, whether it's a brand new dungeon with a boss at the end of it, or just a better view of your surroundings. Maybe if the Ubisofts of the world focused more on this stuff instead of NFTs, they'd sell 12 million copies. Oh, so with all of this in mind, it's no wonder the Nubis accidentally stumbled across a Tibia Mariner. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. No, don't call your cronies. No, stop it. You're fine. Stop whining. Look, your cronies can just get away. That'd be nice. Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Army of the dead coming for me. I feel like Jason and the Argonauts right now. <laughs> and that's three for three. But would you believe it, we weren't finished yet. Let's go have a big tree. Because I can't go to the other big tree. So despite completing the challenge of killing any three bosses, the Nubis wanted to run around a little bit more. I happily scored out the three in my notes and changed it to a four as she hopped on Torrent and rode into the sunset. And by sunset, I mean Caled. <laughs> Run! What is this wall? That's not what I meant to do. What is that? Oh my god. And despite this, despite Caleb's red sky and rotting corpses and shrieks of pain, the Nubis kept going, embracing the gameplay loop and rummaging through the sand and dirt and scarlet rot in an effort to finally get to one of those big trees she kept spotting. Hello, hello, hello! And at the base of the tree, she ran headfirst into the putrid avatar. Oh my god, I didn't even realise that was a thing. Oh my god. Seeing the boss's health bar fade from view, she spied a door. And behind the door was a fun dungeon with fun enemies. Oh, now the cat come. Yay. Oh, no. Monty, I hate these things. Look, there's another one. I can't go over how derpy your character looks. Shut up! How did you die, good sir? Doesn't help me. Something's gonna come from these waters. And just like the Stormfoot Catacombs, she decided she wasn't in the mood for imps and traps and swamps and zapped back to Limgrave, leaving the horrors behind. Collecting her thoughts, the Nubis had a look at the smithing table in the Church of Ella. She used the smithing stones she collected and upgraded her scimitar. She announced to the room that she was going to play for another half hour and decided she was going to examine this odd looking river just off from the dragon guarded lake. And as she hurtled towards her destination, Someone reared their ugly head. Why is this tree dancing? <laughs> He's... Oh, body time. What is it? Where is it? Who is it? Oh no, I'm gonna feed it again. Can he not just go away? <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh, who's he? <gasps> What's happened? Oh no! <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Oh. 
Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes, my savior. Help me! Help me! Please! With the clock running down, I gave her a little nudge, keen for her to meet From Software royalty before she put the game down. I pointed out the entrance to Murkwater Cave and sat back to watch what I honestly thought was going to be a very easy final boss. I was wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, great! Great! Good! 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 I love it! Oh, great! 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 <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, damn <laughs> God damn it! Stop it! Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? Yeah, I should not open the chest. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Alright. Good old Patches. He's nothing if not consistent when he appears in these games, meaning for seasoned players he's now, in fact, the most reliable NPC you will ever come across. Whenever you see his smug, bald head, you can rely on one thing, that he's gonna give you a bad time. But, and I might be alone in this, I've never found him to be a particularly difficult fight. However, the Nubis, with her jumping and swiping strategy, found him to be a right pain in the arse. His guy became the Sans Undertale of her adventure. So, if you're keeping an eye on the runtime of this video, I'm sure you'll have already guessed where this is going. Patches, not Margit the Fell, not Flying Dragon Agil, Patches ended up being the final boss of these seven videos. Which means I can finally use this song cover. Oh, God damn it! It's giving me a hard time. Wait, please! I surrender! Like, I'm just gonna keep going. Right. Dick. Let's go. I'm pressing our chip. Bastard. She's left, and she's been gone for about 20 minutes. 
I think she might have gone to bed. Okay. Go and 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 stop it with your spear. All right. Oh. And then he stabs like straight away. Like how the hell am I supposed to like heal from that? That is where we called it. Four bosses defeated in Elden Ring, and the best thing? I'm pretty sure if you combined her total hours played across all of these games, you'd get something close to how long the original Dark Souls takes to finish. So does this mean she's actually beaten a full Souls-like? Of course not, even she wouldn't say that, but it does mean she's grown as a player, in a fair few ways. In fact, the newest's time with Elden Ring seems to show that she found the fun in this style of game, and that's more than I ever could have asked. Man. But I know what you're thinking, especially if you've been with the channel since the start. After trying seven From Software games, what does she think of this one? What does her ranking look like now? I love all the animals. I love the horse. I love the jumping. Um, yeah. You know what? I think this might actually be first. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, Demon Souls three Zeppo and Bloodborne. I think that's my order. Bloodborne's still bottom. Oh yeah, 100%. All this time later, yep. a full year after you played it. Yep. <sighs> okay. Wait, three quick announcements. Announcement one, we've been lying to you. This whole video I've referred to the Nubis as my girlfriend. Well, in the time between videos, I proposed to her and she said, yes, we're engaged. Elden Ring, more like engagement ring, am I right? It's almost like I planned it this way. Did I plan it this way? No. Announcement two. This video isn't sponsored, but I got a really cool message from the legends at Razer and they sent me a surprise care package. Look at this, what the hell? Apparently they shared these videos around the office and wanted to help out. They didn't ask for a shout out or anything, but I felt like I should because this is really seriously cool of them. We used their streaming mic for this recording, so let me know how it sounded. Announcement three. I get a lot of comments asking if we intend to keep making these videos after Elden Ring. We talked, and I'm happy to say that the answer is yes. We'll keep making them until my fiance, God, that feels good to say, gets sick of them. But she has requested that we take a break from games like these for now. Luckily, that means I can throw her some of my other favorites, and we'll get to see how she fares at different genres. Just because she spent time with Souls likes doesn't mean she'll be any good at Hitman. Anyway, thanks for watching. Especially to those of you who joined us back in video one or two and watched us grow from there. On the left hand side of my patrons, look at a bunch of MVPs. As always, they're the reason we can keep doing stuff like this. So, order of thanks go to Jonathan, Ace Attorney Fan 621, Excalibur Gaming, Taylor Borrell, Zachary Johnson, Daxter TK421, <laughs> DNSCH, Martin Gribben, Jordan S. Jared Trainum, Nick, Damp Gibbon, Monicari, Kieran Gresty, Jade Kavanagh, Phil P, Liam Daborn, Lamar825, Jeremy Shore, Patrick Salai, Ike N, The All Brand Man, Jake, Tempe, Courtney Wampler, Anthony Holder, David J. Morin, Minute Zero, Iskerton, Callum Arbitage, Christopher Tierney, Torstein Sundness, Fipsy, Derek DeRozia, Luca, Tom Inns, Heliquin, Sierra Purnell, Jaguk, Jordan, Uncle Mr. Bones, Alberto Calles, Austin Hagerman, Lee, Austin Long, Ty Praz, Matthew Bendel, 
Dini, Zachary Powers, Andrew Muinos, Compulsory Fungus, Dank Hank, Prospero finished my dissertation, Now Enguitera's Nopoff, Lizzie Gale, Alan Black, Callsign Noor, David Bedard, Ross Williamson, Derek Eight, The Riftmaker, CC, Jared Helfer, Graham McLaughlin, Semlin, Beth Littler, Oliver Farrell, John Foster Ag, Robert Capel, Matt McCulloch, Guillermo Barreros Ferreira, Ethan, Paul W, Damp Gibbon, Please Don't Blame, Chief Sweep, Ehor May, Jonathan Lum, Thomas Banchak, Eddie Wingfors, Reese Newton Seeley, Nicholas Here, Cakesters, Strupp, Angry Optimist, Adriana Martinez, Jana Grasfrau, Jake Klusovitz, Long Cheddar, Jordan Halsey, Amory Seldom, Ryan Smith, Talkster, Donis Conva, Ashley Broning, 100 Sams, Neil Dudgeon, Michael Diaz, Nathaniel Waters, Dinkin Pearson, Kyle Piers, Seb Scott, Lonely Ronan, Chris Bread, Kane Highwind, Neve Care, and Johnny Miller. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much.